In this tutorial, we want to calculate descriptive statistics for one variable. Because we only have one variable, it is called univariate data. The data is for 30 students in an introductory statistics class. So the variable is called score, and there are 30 observations. Okay, so here's the data set we're looking at. We have 30 different observations for test scores in a statistics 101 class. I'm going to go through each line of code. Here we have line one, the name of the data set called test scores. Line two, we have the source. Line three, we have the name of the variable called score, followed by what's called a line hold specifier, the double trailing at symbol, which I'll explain a little bit later. Then in line four, we're going, we're going to run this part of the code, lines one to three. Line five, procedure, PROC just is short for procedure. So it's gonna run the univariate procedure and we follow that with data equals test scores. This has to match line one up here. Then line six, we have the name of the variable called score, which matches line three, score. And then we give it a title on line seven, statistics 101 test scores. When we run all of this code, see we have all of our descriptive statistics for the univariate data. We have mean, median, mode, standard deviation, and so on and so forth. Now going back to the code, we have here the line hold specifier, the double trailing at symbol. The reason we put that there is because if we didn't have it, SAS would look at this first line and treat it as its own single unique observation. So you would have one, two, three observations. But what we have here is we have different observations on every single line. So on the, this first line here, 56 is for one student, 78 is for a different student, so on and so forth. So we have to tell SAS that's what we wanted to read it as. And we do that by adding in the double trailing at symbol. Another thing worth mentioning is on line six, where we have var, which is short for variable, and we list all of the numeric variables that we want to calculate statistics for. So here we're just calculating statistics for one variable. We could add more. If we did not have line six at all, SAS would calculate statistics for all of the numeric variables in the data set. If you have any questions or comments, you can post below in the comment section, and be sure to subscribe for future videos. Thank you for watching.